Every year, 23 billion pairs of shoes are made, 300 million of which are disposed of in landfill in the UK alone. A standard trainer is comprised of six parts, the upper, outsole, midsole, insole, overlays and inner linings. Often there is a large bill of materials with complex manufacturing processes associated with the production of shoes, which in turn makes them difficult to recycle properly and biodegrade. Additionally, mass overconsumption of shoes for different styles, occasions and functions leads to an accumulation of waste over time. We concluded that there were four issues that needed solving. The bill of materials, overconsumption, complex manufacturing processes inevitably leading to the affordability of the shoe. Taking inspiration from origami, the art of folding intricate models from a single sheet of paper, the concept of a shoe made from a single net of material was considered. The first prototype was made from a sheet of paper. Its purpose was to assess the viability of the solution. Seeing that a rough shoe form could be made, we continued down this route. Here we experimented with varying flap sizes and shapes to create a more robust shoe. We tested this with users, enabling us to identify pressure points which needed to be reinforced. To tackle the issue of overconsumption of different styles of shoes, we wanted to include a system whereby the user can rapidly switch between styles, effectively combining several shoes into one. This was done with the use of flaps on the back of the shoe, which fold on top of each other, changing the style of the shoe altogether in a swift movement. For the fourth iteration, the net was transferred onto cotton canvas and rebuilt. The folding mechanism was tested with users, who claimed that it was difficult to use. Aesthetically, the shoe didn't appeal, and so we needed to redesign the net from scratch. We went back to the drawing board, sketching out different shoe styles and forms. The net was redesigned by observing the seam lines on a real trainer, and then mimicking the shapes and joining all the pieces onto a single sheet. This resulted in a sleeker looking shoe, with better coverage of gaps and an overall more snug fit. For the final prototype, instead of separating the flaps at the back, they were combined into one large flap, much like a shirt collar. This overall made the folding mechanism far more intuitive and simple to use, once again confirmed by users. Thank you.